And our next hymn is from Voices United, 344. give the gift of ourselves in response to all God has done for us. Gifts of time, talent, and treasure to further God's good purposes in the church, in the community, and in the world. As we give, let us remember the words of Scripture. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Jesus, we bring our gifts to you, O God. Help us to give with them a ready mind, a willing spirit, and a joyful heart. Amen. We continue now with the prayers of the people, beginning with the recognition of Canada Day just passed. Let us pray. God of all nations, we thank you for the goodness of life in Canada, for its vast beauty bounty and resources. We praise you for its peoples, the peoples whose ancestors have been here for thousands of years, those who have arrived more recently, and those who have just arrived. We thank you for the variety of our traditions and our cultures, the riches of our spiritual and religious heritage, the strength of democratic institutions. Oh God, we pray for an even better Canada, redressing the wrongs, the injustices of the past and present, and working for a future in which everyone may live safely, abundantly, authentically, and have fair access to all the goodness of this land. May we be better stewards of the land, air, bodies of water, and the creatures that inhabit them. We celebrate this country in which we live, even as we strive to have it mirror your kingdom of love peace, and justice. Dear God of life, we praise and thank you for those times when we have felt your presence. In times of happiness and joy, 
in times of weariness or sadness, when the day is full of light and promise, or when the night closes with gloom and despair. In all things, in all places, in every moment, you are with us. Help us to know your presence, which comforts, strengthens, encourages, transforms, resurrects. Oh God, you know all about our lives. You know us from the inside out. You already know it all, oh God. Our prayer time is not so much about passing on requests or compliments, but about our connecting with you, communing with you. In this relating to you, there is great joy and peace to be had. In this joining with you, we find solace in hard times, and we find company in times of celebration. We pray now for ourselves and for all who are the body of Christ in the world, that we may take up the yoke of service. Help us to get beyond our fears and our passivity. Help us to know the joy of following Christ. We pray for the hungry, for the lonely, for the oppressed, for the sick and injured, for the grieving, for all who are weary and carrying heavy burdens. Especially we think of those worn down by the heavy stress of the pandemic, frontline workers especially, nurses, doctors, medical personnel, and caregivers. Also those missing the touch and the closeness of family and friends. We also pray for those weary of hearing racist remarks directed at them, and all those bowed down by prejudice and systemic injustice, those exhausted and crushed by hate-filled words and acts, tired of being afraid, burdened by the inability to simply be who they are at work, in society, in faith communities. May all persons who are weary and who carry heavy burdens know, O God, your healing and empowering love. Help us to do our part to care for those in need. Finally, gracious God, we pray for this community of faith, Central Sanitary United Church. May we be willing to continue to take upon us the yoke of Christ, to be prophetic in word and deed, to witness to the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to be bearers of your love, your shalom, to humanity and all creation. Compassionate God, as you have heard this prayer of one for many, please hear now our individual concerns for persons, places, or matters of importance to us in a moment of silent prayer. Passionate God, all of our prayers, those spoken aloud and those offered silently from our hearts, we lift up to you, trusting that you hear and respond. Hear us once more as we say aloud and together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, our, our Mother, Mother, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. From Voices United 603.
Jesus has met us in worship this day. We go forth to meet Jesus in those we encounter each day. God's grace enfolded us in worship this day. We go forth to proclaim that grace in all we do and say. The Spirit has guided us in worship this day. We go forth equipped by the Spirit, ready to exercise our calling. And for more voices, number 212. made lighter, our souls refreshed, our lives given purpose, all by the blessing of God, Creator, Christ, and Spirit. Amen. And my postload is to honor Canada Day, this beloved nation that we all share. I'm going to sing alternate words, though, that were one of the two or three runners-up in the original lyric contest in 1909. And this version was written by a lady named Mercy E. Powell McCulloch. evermore. 